tell me I'm not the only one. You just hop on to Scratch and search for a cool, epic, and awesome platformer. What could possibly go wrong? You find the perfect one, a shiny, nice looking platformer game. You press play and you're like, wow, this game is awesome. Let me make a platformer too. The physics are awesome. Everything works perfectly. I wonder how the code looks like. You press see inside. Then you just scroll and scroll and scroll. And then you're just like, you know what? I think it's better if I don't make a platformer. Anyways, Christmas is coming up. Who has time to spend months building a game? Well, certainly not me. So after coding a little bit, I made a super easy and simple platforming script that works like a charm. Your player can even go up slopes and on moving platforms. Without further delay, let's get right into this. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create a new Scratch project. And let's make a quick level. That seems about right. And do not forget to center it by putting it at X0 zero zero, X zero and Y0. Zero. Let's name this um, level. And let's make a new one called player let's start by getting a when green flagged cl clicked and let's put him at this position or wherever you guys want and let's get a forever we're gonna start with making him be able to go left and right Uh, make a right arrow and a left arrow. When we do that, let's change the X by 5 and by minus 5. And now you can see he will move, but he goes through um, through the wall. So, let's make hitboxes. This is the normal costume. Let's make a hitbox that is going to be on the right side of him. And position it somewhere over here. You can tweak this, but... Um, try to have it something like this. Don't make it go completely to the top of the player. I still have a bit of distance here and it's still a bit of distance here. And let's name this right. Let's duplicate this and name it left. Now we want to have our hitbox over here. And now that we have this, delete the player, but leave the hitbox. You, it must be here on the right of the player. Do not center it. And now, um, before we switch, le uh, we, let's do the left arrow key first. Let's switch the costume to left. And then we're gonna change by minus five. But if we're touching the level, we're gonna change, um, we're gonna go back to our original position. And the same for right key. But now we're gonna change by five and by negative five. And make sure to switch the costume to right. And now, oh, and one more thing. Um, after you do that, do this, uh, switch the costume to the normal after remove it one here and one there and here we go and also when we start we want him to be on the normal 
and now you can see he will not go through walls. This works because if we press a key, we're going to move five, move five position, move five steps. And now if we're touching the wall, which we are, we're going to move back. And so it'll, it, because this happens very quickly, um, it's as if the player didn't even go into the wall. Perfect. Now let's start with the jumping script. Let's go to Bob and duplicate him once more and name this down. This is going to be the lower hitbox. Put it right over here. And have it somewhere over here, maybe even a bit bigger, like so. Once again, delete our player. And now, when we start, um, let's drag out a forever. And we are going to, first of all, switch the costume to down. And if we're touching the ground, touching the level, um, then we want to go up. So if we're touching it, if we're touching it, we want to go up here until we're not touching it. And if not, if we're not touching it, let's just change the Y by negative five for now. And to do this, let's make a new block. Hey, yo, Stefan, I thought you said this was gonna be simple. Well, yeah, but it's essential that we have this block because it can run without screen refresh. That's the only reason we use it. Okay. We won't put a lot of code into this, uh, but we it needs to work because it runs without screen refresh. And let's put repeat until not touching level. We are going to change the Y by one. And let's get a change Y here. And let us switch the costume to Bob uh, to the normal. I just like calling him Bob. But why is he doing this? Well, because when our player moves minus five, he's going to be here. But now we're touching the level and he'll move here. But then we're not touching the level, so he's gonna go. And this constantly happens. So to fix this, put the change at Y after we do minus five. And now, as you can see, everything works. Flawless. But what about the jumping mechanism? Grab out an if. Key up arrow pressed. Let's uh, switch the costume to down. And um, if we are touching the level, only if we're touching the level, we are going to be able to jump. We don't want him to jump to be able to jump in the air. And if we are, let's um, switch costume to Bob to our normal. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like calling him Bob. There we go. Let's switch costume to Bob, and let's repeat until repeat ten times. Uh, let's just say an um, if. Actually, nah, just just do change Y by five. And put that over here. And then, uh, let, yeah, let's, if touch, if up arrow pressed, we switch costume to down. And if we're touching left, and um, you might want to put a minus one over here so, because there is still a bit of distance. 
And if we go up slopes, you're also gonna want that. And one more thing, at the end, change Y by one. and switch costume to Bob. Uh, this should be down here. Um, and so now it will work. And as you can see, we have a pretty good jumping mechanism. But, it is a bit of a blocky jump. I mean, we want to have some gravity, right? So, just make a variable called VY uh, for the velocity Y. And set VY to zero when the flag is clicked. And um, what you want to do is we are going to change y, not by minus 5, but by uh, vy. And change vy by negative 1. Over here. And when we jump, let's set vy to 10. Because when, ju jump, when he jumps, he's going to be going 10, and then back down to minus 10. And so let's do that right here. And let's again change this by VY and change VY by negative one every time we move. And then after we've, we're done jumping, set the VY to negative one. So he'll have a bit, so he'll be going downwards a little bit. Uh, and put this over here, yeah. And now, let us set um, the VY to zero over here. And as you can see, he has more of a bouncy jump. Excellent. But, we run into a problem. He can jump <laughs> into a platform. And to fix this, Let's only change the Y um, if we are not touching level. And it kind of works, but um, you can see if I take the level lower, He will still go into it a little bit. So to fix that, go to the player and make another hitbox called up. And you guessed it, put it up there. Delete Bob. And let's switch costume to Bob. And let's get an if else. Let's put that in there. And now we're gonna switch costume to down. And then we're gonna switch back to Bob. Oh, sorry, down. And now we switch costume to up. If we're not touching level, we're gonna go up. And otherwise, we're going to, um, let's just not have that, only have it here. You can see it is, um, it is, um, the, the hitbox is touching the platform. So let's just have the bob over there. And there you have it, a super simple platforming script. And you can even add your own moving platforms. And that's all for this video. If you enjoyed,
please consider liking or even subscribing. And write down in the comments if you want to see me make an, um, more Scratch projects like this. Thank you for watching. Bye.